I have a pretty decent harvest of tomatoes here. I don't know what to do with them yet, so I think I'll just make tomato paste with them and put that in the freezer until I figure out what to do with these. It's about 12 pounds, small harvest, about the third one of the year. And I'm going to start by removing the skins. Then I'm going to take the seeds out and boil that down until I get a paste out of it. So I got my pot of water on and I'm just going to wait for it to boil and then I put the tomatoes in the boiling water for a minute or two until the skin kind of flakes off and then I'm going to put that in ice water and then the, the skin should totally come off. And that's how you remove the skin from a tomato. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I think I'll go over here and remove the cores from the uh, middle of the tomatoes. All right, I got these cored, and our water is at a decent boil, and I have a bowl of ice water here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut an X or a cross in the bottom of these like this so it's easier for the skin to come off. Now I'm going to put them in the boiling water for a minute or two and then I'll put them in the ice water so the skin flakes right off. Alright, that's been one or two minutes. I think they're ready to take out and put in the cold water. Now we let them sit in there a couple minutes in the ice water. Okay, the tomatoes are cooled off. They've been in the ice bath for a couple minutes. And now the skin should just come right off like that. So now just peel all the skin off. Okay, I got the tomatoes peeled and cored. So now, I don't like seeds in my tomato paste. So to get rid of that, I, I cut the peeled and cored tomato in half and then I squeeze the juice out and as I squeeze it, the seeds, most of the seeds will come out in the juice. And then I'm not going to waste this tomato water here, I'm going to uh, strain it. I'm going to strain the little, there's still some seeds in there, and then I'm going to put it in my pot of water and reduce it with the paste. Okay, all these tomatoes are seeded, skinned, and peeled. So it's just tomato flesh. Most of the seeds are gone. And in here is the tomato juice. You don't want to throw that away because I got about a, almost a half gallon here. So we just, the main objective is to get rid of the seeds. So the way I do that is I run it through a sieve. There's all the seeds, we'll just leave that. There you go. So the seeds are in here. The tomato juice is in here. I'm going to put this on the stove and then put this in here and then let it reduce. We got it on the burner, so now we're just going to crank the heat up. Bring it to a boil. Um, and then turn the heat down. Let this reduce. And then I'll add this. The main flesh of the tomatoes. We are now at a boil here on our tomato uh, juice, so now I'm going to add these guys. I'm going to turn the heat down probably to here, stir often and let this reduce. To make my paste extra smooth, I think I'm going to use my handheld mixer and chop up all the little uh, particles. Okay, that looks a lot smoother than it was. Okay, so almost an hour has gone by, about 45 minutes or so, and this is going to be a really slow process. 
So a trick to speed it up is to heat up a pan over here, a uh, really a pan with a large surface area, your largest frying pan, and I'm going to transfer some of the sauce into the pan and reduce it quicker. Because if I reduce it in here, it's going to take quite a while. I mean, you don't have to do this, but this is just the way to um, expedite the process. Okay, so I poured some of the hot sauce into my reducing pan, and now I'm just going to stir it, and the, the, uh, the sauce should reduce and turn to paste a lot faster than it would if I just had it in that uh, Dutch oven over there. See how fast that's going to distill? You don't have to do this, but it definitely speeds it up. So that was about a 15 minute reduction. That's about how thick I want it. You want it thicker, go a little longer. Make sure to stir this often. This will burn easy. So now that this is about done, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in, my, in here to store it. All right, now I'm gonna fill the pan up with some more of this. Okay, and repeat the same process. It looks like this will reduce down in 15 minutes. There you go, that's nice and thick. That's ready for the next batch. Alright, this is the entire batch. I wanted to do one final reduction, get it extra, extra thick, and then I'm going to put it in here and let it cool, and then I'll bag it up and put it in the freezer. And here's the finished product. That all, all that 12 pounds of tomatoes turned into this very thick kind of tomato sludge. So I'm going to let it cool now, and then I am going to put it in little sandwich bags and put that in the freezer. Okay, so I think we're all cool now. So now I'm going to put the cool paste in these little sandwich bags. And I'm not going to put all of it in one bag. I'm going to do several portions so I don't when I want to thaw it out I don't have to thaw out my whole batch so about this quantity per bag and then we put that in the freezer Okay, I made three small portions of the tomato paste, and now I'm going to put it in the freezer, and when I want to reuse it, I'll thaw it out. And what's cool about using the sandwich bags, to use the tomato paste, all you do is cut a corner off, and you squeeze out the paste, like, like you're squeezing out toothpaste. That's a cool little trick I do.